Okay, well, we, um, if we can quickly take your seats, we will. Hopefully, Saeed, as you know, it's fairly um, busy outside, so hopefully Saeed can make his way through the mighty press, but Sylvester has done. Sylvester D'Souza winning the Dubai World Cup for the boys in blue. I think this probably makes you um, pretty proud of what you've achieved today, judging by the, the reaction of everybody out there. Uh, it's, uh, it's an amazing feeling. I'm just absolute delight for Godolf and give me the opportunity to ride for them in the beginning of my career with them. But not my career, but uh, you know, when I start for them and they call, they call me to come in and join them. And I couldn't, I always think to one day come out and win this race, but I wouldn't thought it would be this year. But uh, I always have Fent on the horse, he's a good horse. I mean, there was a degree of confidence. I mean, you knew, you know, Godolphin Mar winner, so everything, you know, there was, there was a feeling that this could be the horse's year, and, and that proved to quite clearly to be the case. Yes, uh, you know, proven. Said always has, has thought he's a great horse, and he has you know, a couple of issues, but, you know, and this year he, first time I finished second and come out and was disappointing. But, uh, you know, and today he just proved his... And talk us through the sort of how the race unfolded for you right from the start. Did it, it all seem uh, was, relatively straightforward? To be honest, for me, it was very smooth race. It was a perfect race for me. And, you know, and I was traveling second place in the inside where only Jock want to be just behind the leaders. And he was giving me the feeling he was happy to be there. So. And then when you come into the straight, you see Mukhtaram in front of you. Did yeah. you always think you had enough horse? I, 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 when I kicked home, I, I thought I would get him. But at the same time, I, I thought myself, I'd say, I have to come and buy him quicker because he's a tough horse as well. And, yeah. and when you cross the line, obviously then it was just, um, as a, in what you've achieved, is, is this... It's a relief. <laughs> re do you, do you, I mean, it's a relief. riding for, after the frustrations, maybe a little bit earlier with Cavalry Man, did you feel the pressure that you needed to... Yes, because uh, um, that, that was a horse like I thought he couldn't lose, but it uh, was a slow running race and I was traveling inside the pocket and he took a bit of time. He didn't show me the turn and foot he showed last time. He took a bit of time to get going, and then other horse coming across of me and took my ground. So I have to switch him and go around, and he just lost by a nose. And unfortunately, you know, but that's racing, you know, that's what we call racing. Uh, but from there, I feel more pressure. And then you felt more pressure, but you, is again the build up to the week with everyone wanting the home team to do well, as it were. Do you, yeah. Is this as, were you nervous at the start of the day? What were you thinking? And of course, in a big day like that, you, you disc probably you describe as oppression, but uh, at the same time, I have to do my best in my home. I feel like riding here in Dubai, we need to do better than anybody else because he is the place we want to show. Uh, we got the horses and it's a great facility for the international horses and they're welcome to come here, but uh, we need to defend as well our crown, you know? So, and I'm absolutely delighted for the boss. And you, you could see how the, the boss's reaction. Yes, and um, you know, and he he came to me in the parade and asked, "What's the plan?" And I and I said, "Well, let's jump out the gates first, and we make the plan," you know. But uh, you know, it was great, you know, and you know, it was great for everybody. So, uh, and you could see for Said as well, and uh, you know what it meant to him as well to to win this race uh, again. I think um, for him could be a great three last matches for me for the first time. I am I know he had one couple of times before, but uh, I don't know when it was, but must be a few years ago, but uh, it's he's the first time on the tapete. And one. the first time on the tapete, a new course, a new is made. Then is uh, you know, and he wants to prove, and you know, I'm just absolutely delighted. Okay, questions for Sylvester. Yeah, yeah. questions. Uh, as as, uh, I'm sorry, I am not good English speaker. No problem, like my one. <laughs> So uh, a few years ago, uh, we didn't know about you because you were local jockey. Yes. But uh, tonight you are be you be a famous jockey of the world. Uh, that is, uh, I call uh, Arabian Arabian dream. Could be, yeah. And uh, like the way it says, it's just I felt my dream is coming true. To me, in this mean a lot for me, and probably more than the English Derby one day. But, uh, and I, I live in England. So, but, 
means everything. I started in England in my first year, I rolled 25 winners. Three years later, I was challenged the championship. I lost by four. And for the last two years, I've been finished second. Very unlucky. So maybe from now, guys, probably going to hear a bit more from me, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Many congratulations. And uh, hopefully your trainer will have made it here. But uh, Sylvester, what a memorable night. I know your children enjoyed it. Um, but, uh, and everyone else, terrific. Thank you. Thank you very thank much you for very the hospitality. So thank you.